doing? I hope well. It's your old pal Melissa Joy. Today's tutorial, I'm going to paint some sneakers. I bought some knockoff Converse and I'll have a link to everything or comparable down in the description box. But if you have sneakers, use them. You know, reduce, reuse, recycle. Don't buy more crap. So you can paint triangles, flowers, the album cover of your favorite band, like kids did in the 80s on the back of their jean jacket. Whatever you want to do, just have fun. But I apparently did not learn my lesson that glitter is awful. So I decided what I needed was some sparkly sneakers. I had thought about doing sparkly stripes, but opted to follow the existing stitching pattern. Maybe if I did some Vans or some Keds. Then again, how many pairs of sparkly shoes do I really need? That also being said, if spooky season has parties this year, I could do a pair of red glitter sneakers and get a cool blue plaid flannel. And I could go as punk rock Dorothy Gale. That'd kind of be fun. Anyhow, let's get into it. Start by unlacing the sneakers and then take some painter's tape and go around the rubber. This will help with any staining or overpaint when you do your shoe. That being said, if you do have a little mistake, you can take a nail polish remover and a cotton swab and just dab at your stain and it will come up just fine. Do a base coat, making sure to get the edges around the shoe opening. I painted a little on the inside to make sure I have coverage. If you haven't guessed, my favorite color is acid green. It, however, isn't a great color for me to wear, so my accessories and tools are usually this color. Jimmy must have thought that noise was food because he came over. And when he realized it was paint, he was like, nope, I'm out. When your base coat is done, you can use a blow dryer or just let it air dry. Either way, once it's done, touch up any bare spots. Later, touch up any spots that seem to be a little light. I noticed it mainly around the grommets. I did a test with a black enamel paint pen because I wanted to change the grommets and it totally passed. Next, I taped off what I did not want to paint. Instead of using Mod Podge, I opted to use Glitterific Paint from Folk Art. I mixed in the gold and green glitter from the sewing machine case. I'll link that down below. I really like the consistency of the Glitterific. It's more like an Elmer's glue, so it moves pretty well, as opposed to the Mod Podge, which was like frosting. I painted the mix on with a sponge brush and used the end of a sharpened paintbrush to help keep the grommets clean by poking them out and scraping a little away. That being said, I am painting the grommets black, so I'm not terribly worried if there is a little bit of glitter on them. Now, we all know that glitter is awful, but weirdly, it's easier to vacuum off the rug. The next day, I removed the painter's tape, and Jimmy, of course, showed up. Tape is one of the various things that Jimmy is always interested in. I proceeded to touch up the paint and the glitter. If there is a heavy spot of glitter, just scrape it down. I didn't feel I needed to seal the sneakers. Then, using the paint pen, I painted the grommets and used the acrylic to fix any overpaint from the pen. I opted to paint along the stitch line between the glitter and the paint to help tie in the grommets and the backstripe that I had painted black. Using the enamel from the paint pen, I very carefully painted the red stripe along the rubber, using a small angle brush in the front along the toe box and the pen itself in the back. I also touched up any mistakes with glitter. Off camera, I went in with acetone and a cotton swab to clean up any burbles. I should mention to clean your glitter and acrylic paint brushes. It's just soap and water. To clean the brush with the enamel, I used nail polish remover and a cotton ball, then soap and water. I decided that black laces were the way to go, but somebody else decided that it was time to play tug of war. Then I went outside and danced around and was ready for adventures. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing what I do next, please subscribe. I hope to see you real soon.